The Republic of San Magnolia has been at war with the Jadian Empire for nine years. Though it initially suffered devastating losses to the Empire's autonomous mechanized legions, the Republic has since developed its own autonomous units juggernauts which are directed remotely by a handler. While on the surface the public believes the war is being fought between machines, in reality, the juggernauts are being piloted by humans and all of them are the 86. The designation given to the subhumans of the 86th sector, who are persecuted and stripped of their rights by the racist-led Alba government. Major Vladelina Lina Malaz is an Alba noble and military officer in the Republic's military, who is assigned as a handler of the spearhead squadron of the Eastern Front, an elite unit composed entirely of 86er veterans who have earned names led by their squad leader, Shine Undertaker Nuzin. As Lina gets to know Shine and the rest, of the Spearhead Squadron. She becomes sympathetic to his people's plight and tries to help them. At the same time, Lena and Shine learn a dark secret. The Republic and the war with the Empire is not what it seems. This is the story of the political views of countries and the political drama revolving around them. This anime shows how, for political reasons, people can be treated differently. This anime starts with an ongoing war between two empires. One empire was losing at first due to its technology, but now they are fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. This anime focuses on racism as its basic focal point, as is clearly shown in the anime. It shows how high-class people treat poor people or those who are born differently from each other. The tech weapons that people think are operated automatically are actually operated by people sitting inside who are facing racism. This anime shows how people with power play with the lives of people who are weak. This anime story revolves around two people, one of whom belongs to the high class and believes in equality, and the other who belongs to the outcast fighting in war. This anime has two parts. The first part involves the story of our two protagonists and their struggles against the enemy inside and outside. The second part involves the continuation of their struggle with the enemy empire. This show also involves a love story between a high-class girl and an outcast boy who fight on the front lines. They have never met but only talked through the technology developed by their country. This is the story of whether they meet or not. This story has drama, and the story never lets you down in the first half of the anime. The second half was a little bit stretched, which bore you, but at the end it delivers the message it wants to give. Every character is well written and will touch you at some point. Every major or minor character who has fulfilled their role will never make you feel that they are not needed. It has the best action scene involving the autonomous units, which makes you feel the rush of watching a sci-fi anime. The fights in the anime are so good that they make your blood boil, and you get involved with the character who is fighting. This anime has good animation. Whether it is a fighting scene or a normal part, both are nicely animated. This anime has good music and oast, which is pleasing to the ears as well as making you feel excited. So at the end, this anime has a good story, the best fighting, and good animation. Although the ending of the first part is good, the second part will let you down a little. But at the end, I will say this anime is worth your time and is a good watch, either binge or part by part. If I want to rate this anime, I will give 8.5 out of 10 to the first part and 8 out of 10 to the second one. So enjoy watching it, and do come back and tell us if you like it or not. Thanks for watching. Signing off Lazy Animer. Before going, do like and subscribe to this channel.